Hi, and welcome to SVG's Sports Tech On Demand video interviews. I'm Dan Daly, SVG's audio editor, and today we're speaking with Gary Rosen, Vice President, Global Sales for Pliant Technologies. Hi, Gary. How are you? I'm great, Dan. How are you? Uh, very good. Under the circumstances, as good as we can be. Gary, what we don't have this year is an NAB show. What would we have seen from Pliant Technologies had we had one? Well, good question, Dan. We were, of course, like everybody, disappointed, but uh, unfortunately, I maybe uh, postponed what was the right thing to do. But I appreciate the opportunity to talk about what people would have seen uh, had they come to our booth at NAB. So uh, last year, we announced the Microcom series of wireless duplex intercom, and that was the Microcom M that we've begun shipping, been quite successful for us. And that's a very small kind of a maybe uh, three quarters the size of a package of cigarettes uh, or for an antiquated reference. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, full duplex uh, for the U.S. We have uh, North America. We have 900 meg, uh, five users. Great, uh, very, very cost effective, uh, under $500 a user with headsets, depending on your headset choice. And that's great for a small theater or a house of worship where you need a few people on. Uh, it is full duplex. You can use up to five uh, full duplex talkers and unlimited listeners. Uh, what we're announcing this year is the Microcom XR, which we expect to be shipping shortly. The XR is really the big brother to the Microcom. Again, very well priced. There's nothing else uh, anywhere near this quality in the industry. Uh, the XR is a bit bigger than the, uh, than the M, but the XR has a number of unique features to it. First, it'll be up to 10 full duplex users plus unlimited listeners. This is really quite a, a large scale system for a very low budget price. Uh, so the uh, XR has the ability of 10 full duplex users. It's also a two channel system. It's rated at IP67, which means it's virtually waterproof. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a drop in charger option. The char batteries can be replaced in the field. Batteries last for up to uh, 15 hours. So at a $749 price point plus a headset, it's really quite a breakthrough. In addition, um, for both of these, we will be uh, showing a little bit later a wired interface that would allow you to connect to other devices like uh, four wire uh, and other systems. And all of these uh, use our full line of headsets for the Microcom, which includes our SmartBoom Pro with a, a boom interface on it and a, a built-in mute, very comfortable, successful. Uh, lots of people love them. And we also have some options, for example, a small in-ear and even a lavalier mic with a small kind of news announcer coil headset available for it. So the uh, Microcoms are, are doing very well. People are liking them and um, we're selling selling quite a bit of them. Uh, we expect that the XR will probably even do more. And both of these models are available in both 900 meg for North America and 2.4 gig for worldwide use. Great. Tell me something. How has intercom use changed in the era of the, of the COVID? Um, we get more people working at home now. Well, you, you know, it is interesting. Um, a good portion of what we use um, it, our user base is live events. So that's changed quite a bit uh, for right now. The, the, the usage is down quite a bit, and we have a lot of people upgrading and prepping for the next round. One of the things that's going to change dramatically in inter intercom is our headset business. Uh, what we're seeing now is that people are suddenly wanting their own personal headset that they keep that nobody else is using. They uh, were getting requests for specifics on how do we clean our products, right. how do we keep them clean, additional uh, uh, microphone windscreen filters for the headsets. So I think we're going to see a big shift now to people carrying their own headset with them for, for, for sanitary reasons. And also, we have a small line of adapters called the Flex LR. And this is a very small device that allows you to go from either a four pin male to a four pin male, it's a double female connector, or a four pin to five pin adapter. And when inserted in any belt pack, they only take up about 10 millimeters. 
So now uh, someone can take any one of her headsets, a lightweight or an over the ear, even a double, and out with one of these adapters, they can go out there, they can use their own headset with virtually any device. So I think part of the shift that we're going to see is people getting much more personal uh, with these devices uh, to, to keep their own and to keep them clean. All right. I remember discussing the Flex device with you at the last trade show. I saw you. It's a very clever, uh, clever product. Yeah, it's, it's, um, people have always said, why didn't someone do this before? It, it is a, it's a significant engineering feat. It's small. It has to be precision. There's a lot of engineering design in it. For example, it is captive. So when you plug it into a belt pack, uh, there is, you actually need a paperclip or something to remove it. So that way it stays with the belt pack. People don't lose them and it doesn't walk away with the headset when you give it to somebody. Great. So those things do take some time to do. Gary, thanks for taking the time with us today. Stay safe, stay healthy. Good to see you, Dan.